In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're going to take this old Amish bench and we're going to turn it into a gorgeous little farmhouse bench. We'll take this long rectangular frame that I got at the thrift store and turn it into a beautiful farmhouse frame picture. And lastly, we'll take this 80s wooden horse and we'll turn it into a beautiful farmhouse rocking horse. So come on, let's dive into these projects. Oh my gosh, do you remember these? These are like from the 80s. Everything was like toll painted. They had the sisters. They had all kinds of characters. And then everything had a heart. Remember all the wood? I had all kinds of furniture pieces that had this heart. This was done in 86. So I'm covering up the artist's name because um, I don't know if she would want me to share this. So um, I picked this up at the Goodwill and I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to sand this down because it is out of date and we're going to turn this into a gorgeous bench again. First we need to fill this in. That's the first thing we have to do because it's going to have to dry overnight and then we'll sand it and then paint the whole thing. Okay, we're going to start by taking a piece of blue painter's tape. You can use whatever kind of tape. I'm just putting it on the inside here. That way when I push the clay through, it's not going to actually go through. Okay. So I'm just going to put some tape right here. Like I said, when I push that clay through, then we won't have to worry about it going all the way through. I'm using my Magic Sculpt. It's a two-part resin. You mix two parts of it, and once it turns white, then it's completely ready. It dries pretty fast, but I usually leave it you know, overnight to make sure it's completely hardened. So we're going to just take two equal parts of the resin and the harden, hardener, sorry. So I'm just gonna wad up some paper just as a filler and we're gonna put that right in here so that we don't have to use so much clay. So that should be good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of my Magic Sculpt and put it in there. So uh, this is a two-part epoxy resin. Uh, this is the hardener and this is the sculpting material. You mix these together, two even parts. You're gonna squish it, you're gonna twist it. And once this turns white, you are ready. I use gloves because it sticks to your hands. Um, I love Magic Sculpt. I make a lot of my furniture applique pieces with it, but it is kind of expensive. It is. Um, $50 for five pounds of it. So you're probably better off getting some of um, the wood dough putty and I will go ahead and show you a picture of it. You'll, you should see that in the corner right now. And I'll also leave a link to it if you want to purchase some of that. That probably would be the most economical way to fill like holes like this is using that wood dough putty. And I use it on the furniture. It dries rock hard. The only reason I'm using Magic Sculpt is because that's what I have at hand. And right now I'm just kind of squishing that and blending it so that it will turn white and it will be ready to fill in that hole. Okay, so this looks white. Looks like it's all mixed properly. So we're just gonna go ahead and start filling in the hole there. I'm gonna take the gloves off because at this point when it's mixed, it's not as sticky as just when you freshly take out the sculpting material. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of that. I'm gonna put my hand behind where the tape is so that I'm not pushing this out all the way. And I'm gonna just fill in this heart. Yep, I had all the furniture pieces with the hearts. I had the hutch. I had the corner shelf. I had the bench. <laughs> yeah, do you remember when all the Amish furniture was so hot? We used to go all the way to Pennsylvania and we would go to Shipshawana and that's where I got a lot of my furniture pieces. That was always fun to go there. Okay, so this is looking really good. We're probably gonna have to 
come back and maybe fill it in a little bit more if there's any depressions in it. And then once this is dry, I'm just gonna add a little putty to the back. I'm gonna take the tape off and we should only have to put just a little bit of putty there. Okay, so our bench dried overnight. Our heart is completely dry. So we're gonna need to sand that. Sorry, my hands are wet. We're gonna need to sand that. And then if you remember, we had put a piece of tape over there. I took the tape off and we just have the paper left. So we need to fill the inside of that today too. I'm gonna to take the paper off there, or that tape off here. And then we're just gonna fill that in and sand these down. We're gonna sand this off. Okay, let's sand this here. Okay, so we got these pretty much smooth. I might have to sand it just a teeny bit more, but let's work on filling the inside of the holes here. Okay, so I have the magic sculpt pretty much all mixed up and we're gonna go ahead and just fill the inside of these holes here. Okay, so we filled in underneath there. We're gonna let that dry. You know, you can use water with Magic Sculpt and it'll smooth everything out. It won't be clumpy. So that's another thing that you could do. That's why it looks all white around here because I took a little water and kind of smoothed it out with my fingers. And then I added a little bit in those depressions. So we are good to go. We're gonna let that dry. We'll sand it and then we'll also sand this off too. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and paint this all white. We're using my paint and primer in one by Bear, and the color is pure white. This is definitely gonna require two coats. So now that this is dried, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of distress it a little with some sandpaper. You're gonna to wanna to distress it on the edges, bring out some of that natural wood. Gives it a nice look. So I think that looks good. Then you're just going to want to stage your bench with a couple of your thrift store finds. I'm using a little cup that I put a little seed decal in. Then I'm also using my little literature tag. Those are all in the Etsy store if you want them. And I have a cute little bird my mom would just love. When my mom and I were at the Goodwill, we came across this rectangular frame. And this is gonna be such a cute project, so just hang on, you are gonna love it. We paid just $2.99 for it. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn it over and we're gonna go ahead and take the backing off.
Next, we're gonna take a screwdriver and pull up the staples so that we can get the picture out. Using the screwdriver again, we're gonna go ahead and pry that picture out. Then you're gonna to wanna to clean the glass. Can I tell you, I picked up this lemon shine when there was no Windex because of the pandemic. This was the only thing on the shelf. Oh my gosh, it is so lemony fresh. It's non-toxic, it's streak free. I love it more than Windex. So I just want to share that with you because I really like this. And so if you pick some up, you will love it too. Now I'm cutting out some farm animals using my silhouette. I'm gonna weed out any extra vinyl that's not part of our design. This is a mirror image because we're going to put it on the inside of our glass instead of on top of our glass. So now I'm just weeding out any little parts that are stuck like in the letters or between the animals. Now I'm applying transfer tape and I'm going to go over it with a credit card. And you're going to just carefully peel back your image and make sure that it's on the transfer tape. Now, the moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and put it onto our glass. You want to make sure that it's lined up properly because once you stick it on that glass, it's pretty much down. I'm just checking to make sure it looks good. There's a little something on the front, but we'll go ahead and wash that after. I'm just gonna seal the deal by taking the credit card and making sure that final decal is down on the glass. Now you just wanna go ahead and peel that transfer tape off. Then you wanna go over it again with a credit card just to make sure all the vinyl pieces are stuck down. Now we're gonna cut a piece of burlap that's gonna go around the actual picture that we took out of the frame. That is gonna be super cute. You wanna make sure the lines in the burlap are straight and not crooked. So just kinda of strain that out before you go ahead and glue it down. Now that I got it straight, I'm just gonna put a bead of glue to hold it in place. Then you're just gonna fold down the edge. This is gonna be a little more trickier because these are not actually little prongs, these are staples. So we're gonna to try to get that back in there without snagging this burlap. I think I should be able to do it. I'm just taking a screwdriver and prying this back a little so that I can get that inside the frame. Now that looks so good. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and we're gonna put that backing back on. I wish I hadn't ripped it, but oh well, it's still gonna look nice.
Now we're going to take some of that white paint by Bare Paint and Primer 1 and we're going to paint the frame and I think it's just going to give it a nice farmhouse look. I didn't take the time to tape this up because you know what, if we get a little paint on the glass, it's no big deal. We're just going to take a razor blade and just clean it up with that. It's so easy and simple, it's just really not worth taping. So to get paint off, we are just going to use this razor blade and we're just going to kind of go in there and get that off. It would have taken me so much more time if I had taped this up. I just, I didn't want to devote that much time to it. It's just real easy. You just take a razor blade and it, the paint comes right off. So no need to tape if you're doing this on glass. Done. And we have a little over here, so I'm gonna, in this corner, I'm just gonna do the same thing. Just gonna, I just take the razor blade over it, and then we'll use our spray and just give it a clean cleaning in one minute. But I want you to distress this just a little, okay? But that's what we're gonna do is just gonna take a little piece of sandpaper and distress that just a little. So just kind of hit the high points. that looks pretty darn cute but again we're just gonna need to wipe that up a little I'm gonna use my spray I'm gonna use this love this so glad I found this Look how cute. I love this. So super cute and I feel like I'm gonna sell this really quick. I'll have this decal in my Etsy shop if you're interested. Just let me know if you want it mirrored so that you can put it on the inside of the glass or if you just want just like a regular decal. I was on Facebook Marketplace and I saw this horse that was all chippy and farmhouse and I thought, oh my gosh, she wants $30 for this. When I find one, I'm going to buy it and we're going to do it. Well, guess what I found? Okay, so we have all seen these 80s rocking horses. Some of them are actually on like a little stand with wheels that you can pull. They're usually homemade. They have, you know, some wool. And this guy was $3.99 at the thrift store. And I think he's definitely in due of a makeover. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna do is, I don't like, I don't know why they have this, but they have this like hump right here. So I kinda wanna like shave that down. You can do that with a Dremel, but I'm just gonna use my scroll saw and just kinda cut that part off. So I'm gonna get to work on that and then we're gonna refinish him. going to take some sandpaper and sand this down, kind of round it out a little. I wish I had my Dremel. I can't find my Dremel. 
it would be so easy. You just take it and just, it actually will carve the side and it's just so easy, but I'm gonna have to do this by hand because I can't find my Dremel. So you're just gonna kinda wanna round the edge so it looks like this edge. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. You probably won't have to do this. Um, this is just like a weird kind of horse. I'm sure yours will look normal, but that hump to me just did not look normal. So I had to get rid of it. Oh, I wish I had my Dremel. This would be done already. Anyway, as you can see, I'm just kind of smoothing out the cut. and trying to round out the edge. See, he looks more normal now to me. You know, just a lot nicer. Okay, now that he looks more normal, um, I smoothed that all out and rounded the edge. We need to get rid of this because this has got to go. And he's missing it from his tail, but that's totally okay because we don't want that either. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rip this out. Oh, look how easy that came out. There we go, much better. And I think I'm gonna just putty up these holes because we're not gonna wanna see that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So we're just gonna fill in some of these holes where that hair had been. And I, I mixed up a little of that Magic Sculpt. You can definitely use wood dough putty though. It's just that I have Magic Sculpt on hand, so. It's just going to work the fastest and the easiest. By the time I dig out my wood putty, um, it'll be 3 in the morning. So <laughs> I see my magic sculpt. We're just, these are just simple, easy holes. So we're just going to put the magic sculpt in there. We're going to let that dry. We'll sand it. You'll never even know that there was all these drill marks here. got one in the behind here <laughs> which not good but we'll fill that one in too okay perfect we'll let that dry and then we'll paint him he's gonna look so cute okay so it's the next day and I let that dry overnight this is rock hard and we're just gonna sand this down a little bit so that we're not able to see it we want it nice and smooth. I really need a new piece of sandpaper. And once we have that nice and smooth, we're gonna go ahead and paint this. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and use this Bare Paint Primer 1. This is my go-to paint, and it's in pure white. Well, I'm gonna turn it over so that we can do the bottom first.
Okay, so our horse is completely dry and we are just gonna go ahead and sand him. We're gonna sand in areas that are gonna define the detail. I love this rocking horse and we didn't have to pay $30 for it. It's very charming. It would look great in a kid's bedroom. It would look awesome on a wraparound porch. It's just a great little added farmhouse piece of decor. If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.